Thank you, Lord. Doesn't turn that world to turn back to, are they, right? Mm -hmm. Things of that world don't feed us anymore. No. That home we had out there, there's a stronger man come in to spoil the goods. Thanks be to God that he gave us a home in the grand old church. The other year this morning, I can't help but look out through the windows in the beautiful sunshine. What a beautiful day that God has made. Amen. The Lord's able. Don't matter what the sickness is. No. Don't matter what your trouble is. Don't matter how big or how small. It never gets too big for the Lord to take care of you. And it's never too small for it to put you on your knees, yeah. I beg and plead. Thank you, Lord. Ain't you glad we've got one in glory that hears us, even though when we're out and we're by ourselves. Yeah. Feel like that you have not a friend in this world. Praise be to God, you've got one seated up on the throne of glory. Yeah. Greatest friend that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. One that knows all about me, Brother Brian. Yeah. I knows my thoughts uh, from a fur off. Yeah. Knows my needs and promised me uh, that uh, uh, my needs uh, uh, shall be filled uh, according to God's riches yeah. in glory. I'll never need anything, no. uh, uh, Brother Brian, no. that's above that. No. Right. Oh, praise be to God. So overjoyed uh, of the visitation that the Lord sent us this morning. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I love to be gathered out uh, uh, with God's children. Uh, uh, that love uh, uh, flows from breast to breast. Yeah. Uh, it lets you know something, don't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, the Bible says it. Uh, you know uh, that you've been changed uh, uh, from death unto life uh, uh, because you love the brother. Yeah. I heard the old ones years ago say, uh, and if I could learn to love you, you better watch me because I can learn to hate you. Yeah. Yes, I can't help it, love. Yeah. When the Lord comes and he changes uh, of that heart in us, uh, yeah. uh, there's a change made inwardly, uh, and he'll show to the outside, won't it? Uh, uh, people that used to know you, uh, uh, they'll say it couldn't be. Uh, uh, there's a change made. Uh, I want to walk in a way, uh, even if they don't believe like I do, uh, uh, they'll say, yeah, there was a change made. Uh, I believe he was a child of God. Yeah. Uh, I want to yeah. be like Paul. Uh, he said, uh, I've run my race. Uh, yeah. I've finished the course. Yeah. Uh, I've fought a good fight. Uh, I've kept the faith. Uh, yeah. uh, there, uh, therefore, uh, there's a crown laid up. Uh, uh, for me, uh, yeah. uh, not only me, uh, uh, but for all those that uh, yeah. uh, love His appearance. Uh, uh, how much do you love it uh, yeah. uh, when He appears in your heart? It uh, yeah. uh, causes you uh, uh, to know uh, uh, that you're His yeah. uh, uh, blood-bought, uh, uh, heaven-bound yeah. people. Amen. And ain't nothing the devil can do about it. No. The Lord allows Him to cause us a little trouble here from time to time. Some people ask why, why this happened, why that happened. If you never had a bit of trouble in your life, would you still look up to God? No. You'd forget where it yeah. come from, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd be like that old wild hog under an acre and tree, yeah. wouldn't you? Yep. You continue to eat of it, never, never look to see where it come from. God knows what it takes. I to put you on your knees. Amen. God will have His praise and His honor and His glory yeah. no matter what man thinks yeah. about it. That's the God of heaven. Yeah. The one I come out to hear about today. Mm -hmm. Love Him this morning. I love all of you. Why? God placed a love in me. I've heard it called a can't help it love and that's what it is. I can't help I love you. I got up to announce the arrangements, but I, I say this all the time, and it's truth. I wouldn't trade one second, not even one second, of feeling that precious little babe move in here for everything this world's got to offer. Amen. And John, it said he came into the world, and the world knew him not. The world was made by him. Yeah. He wasn't talking about this ground out here. Yeah. He came unto the world. This right here is the world now. 
and the world knew him not. He created the world. But to them that he revealed himself, then we know him. My mom told me my whole life about a man named Jesus and there was a God in heaven. And I believe that. Because mom said it. But I didn't know him. I knew of him. And the Lord come unto me one swoop he killed me dead to the love of sin and folly and made me alive in his precious grace. Then I began to know him. I began to try to read this right here. I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know everything I could about him and I still do. We got a wondrous God. Amen. One of now you think about her spoke this world into existence. Yeah. Just spoke. And it was made so. The Bible says, even meted out the stars of heaven with a span of his hand and knows every one of them. Yeah. All the water in this world fit in the hollow of his yeah. hand. Yep. And yet small enough to enter into the heart of John the Baptist while he was still in his mother's womb yeah. at the sixth month of pregnancy yeah. and caused the baby uh, uh, to leap for joy. Uh, yeah. uh, you remember uh, uh, when he came into your heart uh, and yeah. caused you to leap for joy. Yeah. That's the God that I love. Yeah. What a table. No matter what it is. Yeah. A lot of times we try to fix things ourselves. I do. Yeah. How's that work out for you? <laughs> no. When I've done everything I can do and I've tried everything I know, finally the Lord blesses me to realize something that I should have known the whole time. And like you said, I get a whooping for it too. <laughs> yeah. Then I begin to look to Him and beg to Him. And then the troubles just seem to melt away. You ever notice that? Ain't that wonderful? Ain't that wonderful? There's sickness in your family. The Lord will put you on your knees and it's for that purpose. When he, he brings that family member through it, then the doctors are amazed. What do you do? You give him praise, don't you? Because you know where it comes yeah. from. I've seen cancer cured. Yeah. Not by a doctor, by the ultimate physician. Yeah. The one that can speak and it's made whole. Yeah. That's that's the one I look to. Lord Lord, how unworthy of a dog am I? To even be among God's children. I think about that all the time. It's it's humbling. It's just like you'll see this dog and its homes destroyed because it's set out and it's astray. And it gets hungry. And it'll come by a sniffing around no matter how scared it is. If it finds a little crumb or something to eat, no matter what you do, uh, He'll slip back on it to, yeah. uh, to try to get another little crumb because uh, it gets hungry, don't it? Yeah. Uh, you remember uh, uh, when you come uh, uh, toward the old Baptist uh, hungry and you felt so unworthy, uh, uh, you'd sit down in the back or maybe stand outside uh, uh, just trying to hear a little something uh, uh, like that stray dog in it. Yeah. Uh, I'd come in and I'd sit way back there. Uh, I wanted that little bit of food. Yeah. Uh, Felt unworthy, uh, uh, just like that old dog. Uh, I guess right. what? Uh, of God uh, in heaven, uh, it pleased him yeah. uh, uh, for the old Baptist to take me in. His sister come to him one time, wanted him to come and heal her daughter. Yep. The Lord said, It's not meat uh, to cast the children's bread before dogs. Yep. She oh. said, Yea, Lord. But do it not the dogs. I feed from the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Ain't you thankful it's yeah. that way today? That these old stray dogs, yeah. that's the yeah. way I feel to be, gets fed from those little crumbs. Yeah. Ain't that so humbling? Yeah. Lord, when I asked for a home, I felt like the old Baptist should have thrown me out in the creek. Me too. But they hugged my neck and they showed me love. They gave me a home. Think about that. He said me too. I, he thought they ought to throw you out in the creek too. I couldn't have blamed him, Brother Brian. How, how unworthy does a, does a man feel? Ain't it? Amen. Yeah. That's true.
If anybody felt like that they deserved a home in the church or felt like they ought to stand in this place, uh, uh, you better watch them at you. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's wolves among the sheep. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, I remember Esco. Yeah. yeah, he's not doing well at all. I was doing my bleach Thursday or Friday. And, and he said this. He done quit all the doctors and everything. Done quit us saying. I just, just laying on a wing. But he said he said he'd get me very, very weak. I believe he said he'd eat a little bowl of milk. But he'd been, he'd been wanting to leave here for a long time. Yeah. Good Lord, just ain't uh, stuck his breath. But he's wanting he's to yeah, at that time just ain't come. Yeah. Just after Sue passed away, he asked me and Brother Tim, who's at Pipeville Hospital, to see him. He asked us to just pray that the Lord would take him on. Yeah. We yeah. said we can't he do that. Sue so but I mean, after Sue left her, that's what he wants. So yeah. I remember Brother Hazel. Hazel, she's got more, she can't hardly take care of it anymore. I don't know what they're going to do. And the family of Brother Victor Church comes to my mind this yeah, morning. Yeah. Yeah. Although he was laid to rest yeah. Yeah. in that bed yesterday. That family still needing and desiring the prayers. And not only that family, but every family it's more than lost of love. Yeah. We know where the comforter is. Yeah. We know where the comforter has to come. Yeah. Friend of mine uh, yesterday evening his mom went to sleep in the arms of the Lord. No, Hassel Dotson's mom. Hassel Dotson's mom. Oh, Lester's fork up her. I mean, I'll just tell you the truth. One of my old drinking buddies now belongs to the church, not this denomination. Now, I don't preach denomination. I preach salvation yeah. by the grace of God, yeah. heaven and immortal glory by Christ's shed blood. Amen. You know, that's not denomination. Denomination thinks of this world. Yeah. It defines a lot of times what we believe in the doctrine. And that's precious. That doctrine's precious. When Jesus walked here, the doctrine that he preached, the Bible plainly says many turned and walked away and walked with him no more. He looked at his disciples and said, Will ye also leave me? Peter spoke up and he said, Lord, where will we go? I'm paraphrasing this. Lord, where will we go? I'm saying that you have the words of eternal life. See, the doctrine means something. The, a doctrine of men is yeah. comfort to the flesh. Yeah. Doctrine of God's not, but it'll feed a hungry soul. Amen. Yeah, that's what's worth. And uh, my mom, I know, stands in need of prayer. Sister Emma Jean, God bless her heart, she's precious to us. Uh, my brother, very afflicted with cancer. Uh, I, w I would say pray for Lisa, but she gave me enough trouble. I'll, I'll go ahead and say that. You know. I need double prayer because I had put up a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know, we kid a lot, and you know, I, I believe that that's pleasing not only to us but to the Lord. He gave yeah. us a love for one another. We joke one another and carry on. That's that's just yeah. a part of this life. That's the church remember my uh, mother-in-law, her family, and uh, her brother passed away uh, yesterday, uh, Jerry Homemaker, when I told you he'd been sick for a while. Just remember that family in prayers. Remember Jimmy out here, they put him in the nursing home Friday, Thursday or Friday? Yeah, for uh, physical, physical therapy. therapy. He had fell Jimmy and broke his there. leg. He's been places. on dialysis for, uh, oh, I guess three or four months. And he got out here and uh, I brought him home and his yard was not had snow on it. And he was more worried about me falling. And I know more about home a couple of years. Fancy called him and said that uh, he had fell in the yard and he broke his leg in two places. Oh. He's the sweetest one brother. Uh, remember Bobby Rowe, he's fighting the drug battle. And remember my boss, she has um, to do a stress test uh, tomorrow. Uh, Brother Roger, sister Faye's grandbaby and her daughter. Yeah. 
remember Brother Roger, yes, Brother Faye. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was coming. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Melissa's got dog chores in her breast, so, you know. Uh, remember Tim and Veronica and Veronica's mom? Yeah. My son, he's Bro I'm sorry. Brother Larry, Brother Kenny Chapman. Chapman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Miller Quit. Yeah. Saw that on the internet. I think this morning when yeah. Brother Miller Quit. Yeah. He's in the uh, AR. ARH. Yeah. Very afflicted. Old brother's in his nineties. Oh. And Roger's cousin's daughter, April. She's got MS and she's losing her hearing and her sight. And Brother Paul Goff. Mm -hmm. Larry Davis is baby on. Uh, Facebook yesterday, I seen a picture of him. Don't have a clue who he is. Two years old, maybe, or something. Oh, the and it's diagnosed with uh, leukemia. Yeah, I've seen that. Did you see that? And you know, I mean, uh, there's comfort because if we don't know the names, God does. We, we look to one that if, if we forget, and we always do, there, there's no way to remember. When the brother comes down on his knees, there's no way for him to remember every no, night. That's right. But we got one in glory that's right. that knows every one of them and has never forgotten one and never weep. Right. Brother Larry, those babies come on my mind. Uh, those two babies that was locked in those cages. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they have feces yeah. and stuff all over them and everything yes. covered in it. It's sad. And them babies. They couldn't get out. They, they had like a, a lid on top of it and it's, they had a padlock on it. Mm -hmm. And the mom oh, said yes, they please. deserved it. Yeah. Oh. That's what she said. You know, them babies did deserve Somebody it. Somebody needs to put her in a box. So Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, there's people in this world that are not human. Right. You know, uh, main misconception, I'll say this and then I'll read the arrangements. The main misconception that most people have, even God's children here in this world, is that there's some good in everybody. That's the main misconception that people have. When the Lord walked here, when the Lord walked here, He told them, He said, if you were of my father, He was among the Jews now in Jerusalem. He said, if you were of my father, uh, you'd hear my voice. But you're not of my father, but of your father, the devil. Yeah. There's people here in this world that there's no good in them and will never Amen. be no good in them. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's just right. the way it is. That's yeah. the truth. That's the doctrine yeah. of God now. Yeah. That's true. Good and evil. These arrangements, if I'd have made them, it'd have been Brother John Cooper to do it all. But Brother Ron didn't <laughs> do it that way. <laughs> Brother Ron's got down the, for me to introduce service. And uh, Brother John Cooper follow me, then Brother Brian, and uh, me to close out. And uh, Ron, he didn't leave himself out either. He, he dismisses. <laughs> uh, I like that, you know. Uh, I feel like say feel so to be so unworthy. Brian, if you would, uh, life's other side. Well, they said they come, and me and you're going home. Yep. And we're going to see that in hung on Calvary. What a glorious day that'll be. Amen. All of her, all of her family that's laying in the grave. We're going to meet with them and fly to meet Jesus. Oh, praise his name. And I climb the highest hill. And I
precious Savior. Uh, Heavenly Meister, uh, uh, Lord, could it please you, dear God, to 
Undertake this little meeting, Lord, uh, yes, Lord. in the palm of your hand, dear God. Uh, uh, Lord, that you could let it uh, uh, raise up before you, dear God, uh, as a sweet savor unto you, Lord. A uh, uh, heavenly master, uh, uh, Lord, I beg for this little church, dear God, uh, yes, that you bless uh, uh, this old dog, dear Lord, to come into. Precious master, uh, uh, Lord, would you bless it and keep it, dear God, as an apple of your eye. Yes, Lord. Heavenly and righteous master, uh, uh, Lord, I thank you for this little congregation, God, that I gathered out this day, Lord. Uh, I'm looking to you, Lord, uh, uh, for your mercy, Lord. Uh, uh, heavenly Master, uh, uh, Lord, would you bless this little congregation here this morning, yes, Lord. Lord? Lord, bless their family members, Lord, and their friends uh, uh, scattered uh, around and about, dear God. Uh, uh, heavenly Master, uh, uh, Lord, would you bless your children, dear God, that uh, no matter where they're gathered this day, dear God, that uh, I bless them, Lord, and cause them to feel that sweet spirit, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Master, I thank you, Lord, for the many miracles that you blessed me to see, dear God. Lord in heaven, dear God, would you bless Brother Ron and Sister Edith, Lord. Lord, bless their little family, dear God, that uh, Brother Berlin this morning, Lord, realizing, dear God, that you're the comforter, Lord, and you can ease his mind. Heavenly Master, bless his companion, Lord, with the strength to take care of him. Precious Lord, uh, would my brother come, dear God, to stand in this place? Lord, would you take him uh, up on the mountain, dear God, and bless us to ride with him, Lord? that we may rejoice, dear God, in your grace, your mercy. Heavenly Master, every prayer request, Lord, whether they were spoken or not, dear God, knowing that you know them all. Lord, could it please you, dear God, bless them, Lord, the many sick and afflicted this morning. Heavenly Master, uh, Lord, would you bless old Brother Estel Hackney this morning, Lord. Lord, bless his family, dear God, that uh, that waits upon him, Lord, and takes care of him. Heavenly Master, the precious old mother, Lord, that you've given me here in this world. Lord, I thank you for every day that you bless me, Lord, to spend with her. Heavenly Master, would you just bless her, Lord, what time that you leave her with me. Lord God, the many that suffer with cancer, Lord. Lord, would you ease their pains, dear God, that and those that it pleases you, Lord, cause the cancer to just disappear. Precious Heavenly Master, Lord, I beg once more, dear God, for this little meeting, Lord, that you would bless us to praise you. Heavenly Master, I ask, Lord, in the sweet name of Jesus, that you keep this old thing humble, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, keep me about your business, Lord, that your children's feet of being a servant unto them, dear God. Uh, until it pleases thee, O Lord, uh, uh, to whisper, come away with me. Then, Lord, bless me to sleep in your arms. Yes, Heavenly Master, to raise, Lord, and to go home to everly be with you. In Jesus' sweet and precious name, Lord, I ask for these things, and amen. 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 Be in much prayer for you. Brother John Cooper, glad and thankful that the Lord give him a mind and blessed him to come and to be with us. Brother Sean Dodson said this one time, so they can put me in that stand all they want to. And he said, it's up to the Lord where he uses me or not. If they put me up there and they don't pray for me, he said, the Lord didn't fail me, they did. Put a man up here and pray for him. Beg the yeah. Lord and bless him. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Yeah.